kind of wave is super power. Sometimes you are sleeping and you can hear your windows Shake. like shaking because the explosion is too hard, you know? Does that so, feel like an earthquake or something? Aha, uh -huh. yeah. like that. Having Sarah back with Rodrigo and I, there's a lot of laugh because we're just so excited to be back together. It's so crazy because I didn't anticipate to feel as overwhelmed. When I first saw them in the airport, it was just like, obviously the best way to kick it off. She just enjoy life. And when you connect with someone like that, it makes you just enjoy yourself a little bit more. I didn't think I would feel that just rush of like, these years of memories and all of this that we've built together and we're gonna embark on it again. That energy that we have between us, the three of us, we understand each other, we love each other. Welcome back. We missed you. Thank you. A lot. I missed it so much. <laughs> this has seriously been the perfect day at Secrets Watuko, no? Amazing. It's a pretty good welcome. So have you heard of Playa Zicatella? No. Have you, Ro? You, Ro? No. Nope. So it's one of like the world's most famous surfing beaches. And it's famous for like, it has a crazy break and these huge waves. It's super, super, super dangerous. And <laughs> that's so okay. much. <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna go to this beach and we're gonna meet this guy, Captain Godo, who's like the captain of the surf rescue. So we're gonna go, he's gonna tell us a bit about the beach and why it's so dangerous. We're gonna be there shadowing him to sort of see what a day in the life of this like water hero. How far is it from here? It's about two hours. Oh, so no. we have to get up at 3.30. What? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Rodrigo, we're gonna pick you up at the bar, Rodrigo. <laughs> So for me, waking up at 3.30 a.m. definitely is not something that I'm looking forward to. But then through the day, as we were getting closer to our destination, the song came out. It gave me a first good perspective of Watulco. Nice to meet you. What's going on here? Uh, this is the Junior Life program. We are uh, making the course for uh, the weekends to teach how to rescue, how to make CPR. They need to understand the culture of saving life. Nice. You volunteer to do this program to teach the kids? Is yeah, that correct? It's like social. So, it's a social program. Yeah, social but it's program. my program. So yeah. yeah, and they are sometimes helping me too with them. The younger kids, the seven years old, you know? Oh okay. my goodness. We're gonna learn about all of that when we're on the beach? Of course. Oh my god, we just got here and it's straight to work. He's like serious. Yeah, he's I know. But what's so crazy about this beach? Uh, like two, three hundred meters far, uh, it's super deep. Sometimes it's one kilometer, eight hundred, oh, and it's wow. changing. Whoa. So when the, all the ocean is coming and then yeah. it's suddenly shallow, shallow, not shallow, but 20 meters, that's 10 meters, it it's getting higher, higher, you know, higher and super strong. So that happened here. We can be here and suddenly, bam, bam. rescue. Surfer or tourist. Yeah. Have you guys ever rescued a famous surfer here on the beach, Playa yeah. Escondido? Yes, many, many famous surfers. Who? Really? No, we don't need to say the name, but they <laughs> are many the famous, mouth. you know? You know, how high are the waves? The higher here, like 10, 12, 15 meters. 15 meters, wow. maybe one, once in 10 years. Once okay. in 10 years? Yes. What is it about this beach? It's adrenaline for surf, for rescue, for the action, the accidents, everything. You are moving, you know, and that is like exciting. Are you a That's surfer? Cool. Yeah, surf? all the lifeguard, we, we need to, we need to, know, we need to know, so you need to know how to read the, the, the wave. wave. Yeah. So we're ready to go? All right, let's do it. We started with a simple stretch. Dos, uno, cero. And we learned the CPR. Checamos signos vitales. Which is right here. Sí. Check. No we need pulse. to check, we need to hear, hear. and we need to 
the check the chest. It's getting it's up raising. and down. No, it's not raising. So it's not. No. We need to move the head. Open the the airway. Airway. Open the airway. Open the airway. Get up. Close the nose. Close the nosey. And we need to give two breaths. Two breaths. Okay. Two breaths. See. And after that, we need to check the esternon. Esternon. Two fingers. And then we need to be vertical, straight, straight, and make 30, 30. compression. 30 bam, compression. Bam, 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 29, 30. All it's right, so it's actually, Tron, it's, not, it's not even that hard. And then we did this hilarious water rescue that is so embarrassing. For some reason, we thought Troy would be the, the good candidate to be rescued. He is the heaviest among us. Me and Sarah, we totally struggled. The ocean was super strong, and we just couldn't do it, and it was two of us. I reach for Roe to give me a hand. We absolutely can't get it together. The waves are knocking us down. We're hitting our heads. Obviously, Goto was like, okay, you guys step back and I'll show you how it's done. And he just like, so impressive, so calm and collected. He just made it look like a dance. Ready this time? Yeah, I'm ready. I feel so safe with these guys. So after the beach rescue, we decided to take it to the next level. We got out the jet ski and we simulated a deep water rescue. I got to go out and uh, rescue Sarah. I was uh, taught by Gordo how to pull her out of the water. Troy and Gordo came zooming, like blasting out on the jet ski and just scooped me right up. I basically had no idea it was happening. It happened so fast. It was very, very impressive. <laughs> We learned the two ways a lifeguard use when they use a jet ski to save someone. We have the tourist way, which is the one Troy and Sarah did, and we have the surfing way, which is the one that I did. And I just only saw his hand try to reach for my hand, and I heard him say, izquierda, izquierda, izquierda. Left hand, so my left hand just reached out to him. But I was underwater at the time, so he pulled me up to the back of the jet ski into the slider. At that point, I understand all the things that he's been telling us through the day. I can see that it's very efficient. He is most passionate about the beach here and the life in Watuko because he said there's no place like this in the world. The magic that you feel in those waves being a surfer and doing what he does. He felt like he was needed here. When you're traveling, you're always worried about safety. That's the number one thing I think for most people. But I'm telling you, at Playa Escondido, you've got no worries about safety because Goro and his crew are on it. I promise you that. I'm not the most coordinated guy in the world. First thing I'm gonna do. Nope, nope. Pull nope. it nope. nope. back. Uh -huh. That was my hand. You got it? Uh. <laughs> yeah, right.